I'm two hours out. I'm getting ready for this date. I'm super nervous. I hadn't really like, I hadn't gone on a date because I started dating a girl when I was like 15. And then, you know, it ended when I was like 17, 18 years old. I hadn't been on a date as like someone I can go drive, pick up and do the whole thing. You know, mm. it was very young when we started. And then like, that was my first time doing that. So I was like super nervous and excited to do this. And she sends me a text and she was like, hey, like, I'm so sorry. Like, I forgot I have something homework due tomorrow. I think it was a Friday, so I don't even know. Like, like, and she was like, so I got I to gotta do that. Um, cool, it hasn't happened yet. But like, let's reschedule. And I was like, yeah, no, no, that's okay, for sure. Um, I'm sobbing. No, I'm kidding. Um, Fully dressed, sitting there with a rose, <laughs> waiting at her front door. <laughs> I'm staring at her through About the window. About to knock. Like, right. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of The Sit and Chat, and today we're going to get unbelievably political, just <laughs> diabolically political, things that you don't want to hear from us. We're just going to shove it right in your face, I love and the here it is. Sorry. <laughs> I love the idea that, like, there's a world where somebody tunes into this to get, like, political news. Like, yeah, this one, is where some one, people are coming to information. Comment. They're like... Dude, what happened with the Trump verdict the other day? And they're like, um, let's go watch oh, the let's sit go and check chat. the sit and chat out. Let's see what they have to say. I'm gonna about clip it. that and maybe we'll get like one or two people that, you know, open up the sit and chat with their cup of coffee. Yeah, and because we were being so vague, we might get the like, you know, people who hate Trump being like, Oh, I bet they're talking shit on him. And then you get the people who are like big Trump fans that are like, Oh, they're talking about Trump. And then we get them all in here. And little do they know. We're not going to talk about any of it. None of it. We're actually going to talk about the flight delays going through Dallas-Fort Worth because that's what I was reading this morning. <laughs> Is that a common thing? Uh, no, it's just there is a big storm that's coming through there. Oh, yeah. What's up with that? I don't know anything about What is up with this. the weather? God, I'm, yeah, I tell insane. you, I'm getting sick of it. Global warming. We can go into that too. Um, well, hey, just uh, come on in. Talk to me for a second. Getting closer. Uh, we're doing another solo episode. I know you're surprised because he hates them so much. I, I do. think it's because he doesn't like talking to me is what I've gathered. But the reason we're doing this is because uh, we released a solo episode. I'm glad you finally figured it out. We released a solo episode a couple weeks ago and, uh, you know, did well. And we also had a lot of comments. A lot of comments. A lot of comments. Um, why? Uh, saying that, like, people... Bring it back. Bring it back around. Want to, want to see some more. And you know what? Really, we do this for the people who are listening. And if people are saying that they wanted us to do more of this, we thought, you know what, we'll do this. We'll do this, but a yeah. little caveat, we're also going to do a bonus episode, which we've never done before, and throw that out. Uh, never been done before. It's never been done. This is the first Actually, time anybody's done a and bonus. And that's the thing about uh, starting a new company. Starting this this podcast, company. I don't, yeah, company, podcast, whatever, no one's ever done a podcast before. People yeah. don't talk about that enough. That's true. And That's we started really podcasting point. before anyone started podcasting. It was like us, then Rogan. Then Rogan. Was like, yeah, he was yeah. like, wow, those then guys Kill are Then Kill Tony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Kill Tony has released an episode every Monday for 11 years straight. Yeah, I saw the uh, the episode count like this week and it was like 500. It's unbelievable. I mean, Rogan's in the thousands. thousands but yeah. He it's releases insane. a few a week sometimes. Um, yeah, well, anyway, we, that's why we're doing the solo episodes, because we, uh, we just wanted to talk. Well, I guess when you live in Texas, you know, gotta just get to know people. You want to move to Texas, I can tell. I, I just don't, uh, I don't think you can beat the weather in California, and that's no. why I'm like, I don't want to, I don't want to spend my time somewhere where it's going to be 100 degrees, like, for 40, 50 days in a row. I don't know if I can handle that. That's tough. The walking outside, and especially when it's just a little bit humid. Yeah. If it's like, you know, Phoenix, Arizona. Oh, Nevada. If it's genuinely, it's a dry heat. It's different. It is. It is totally. You different. walk out and the it's like a, like gross. a blow dryer. But if you walk out in like that wet, you blanket immediately humidity, want to shower. Oh yeah, I hate that feeling. You walk outside for ten minutes, you're dripping sweat. Yeah, and that was just to get in your car. Yeah, then go get some bonbons. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> did you have some questions for me? I did have some questions. Yeah, for you. I want to yeah. hear what these are about. We, we covered that. We covered the the intro with uh, all the people that are here once again. Well, do you want to go to back to politics? Yeah, I, I really do. Yeah, that um, that's cool. my first question. Let's be for controversial you. with that. What's your yeah. um? What's your most outlandish political belief? No, mm. um, I I have a couple things that I could start with, but the first thing I want to start with is um my dilemma this morning, and that was I. Do you see this right here? Is that a new freckle? Is that what it looks like over there? It's a pimple. 
The one on the right or the one this below? One. Oh, that. Is that a new freckle, though? It's a pimple. The one on the right, this sweetheart. One. I can't see my face, so I don't know. Right here. I don't know. I think that light's been there. I've never noticed that. Oh, thanks for looking. Not that I, I stare mean, at your lips all the time. I don't know about that. It's also not on my lip. Should we interview but, the cleaning crew? Yeah, hey, come on in, guys. <laughs> I just... Uh, come on in. Um, Turn the vacuum down a little quiet. So what's, <clears throat> what, what's wrong with your lip pimple? Uh, the worst, yeah, I the just worst think, place for a pimple. Oh, well, totally. The worst place for a pimple. But I, I think that getting pimples in your 20s, 30s, 40s... Blows. Is, looking, ...is looked at totally differently. I know. I've never... You know, I started like really caring about my skincare because it's like, you're a grown adult. You can't have pimples. It's also going to be the skin for the rest of your life. Mm. I rushed out of here after taking a shower. I didn't put moisturizer on. And mm. my face feels all dry. Yeah, I know. I'm not a big lotion guy. I've been trying to do it more and more, but like I really do. I remember there. Think about how many times you came home from the bars and you just passed out of the bed. Mm. You know, you wake up and you got a pimple because you're greasy, you were sweaty, you're disgusting, you're gross. I now, regardless of how drunk I am, I'm showering. I get home and I shower. I got to rinse off every time before you get in every bed. Every time. Not every time before. Like in general, not every time before I get in bed. If I showered, it really depends on what I did. Mm -hmm. Like, if I went... If you were a little little schwetzy, a little schwitzy yeah, at all. Yeah, I'm not getting in the bed. Because I want to get it off. I don't want back That's pimples. how I felt last night. I don't want any of that. I just don't like showering so often that I feel like I'm drying my skin out. Because then mm. it's really important. Yeah, and you have longer hair than I do. I wash my hair every time I shower. Oh, yeah, I don't do that. Yeah, I don't I don't have that problem. You know? I, you, you look good when you wear hats. Was that weird? Thanks, baby. I might be attracted yeah. to you. I don't know. Um, I don't get this hat. What do you mean? You look good when you don't wear hats because you have a good hairline, but that's why I'm, uh, that's what I'm hiding from you guys out there. All right. <laughs> you know, don't tell anyone. Want to show it. Is you, don't why tell talk anyone. About it all no, time? no, no. Well, um, what does this hat about. mean? Hit another. Brunch, brunch golf? golf? Hit another yeah, yeah, mimosa? Like, like, no, 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 no. It's like, uh, you know. Take oh, a, brunch, a take a breakfast ball. That's yeah, yeah, a good yeah point. that's the kind of, idea. um, yeah. So, uh, pimples in your twenties. Pimples in your 20s. Not fun. That's your new special, isn't that's it? That's my new, uh, yeah, that's my new Coming out on Netflix? Pimples in your 20s. That's pretty cool. Speaking of that, I guess I'm uh, I'm not hosting something. <laughs> um, Let's talk about something. This might be controversial. Mm. People in LA blow. Are you just saying this might be controversial before everything that you say? Just so it yeah, yeah. Comes yeah. <laughs> no, um, but it's true. Though, they blow in the sense that like, well, who can you trust? You can't really trust anybody. And then on top of How it, how many people like, have your best interest actually in mind? Maybe five. Mm. Maybe five. I mean, I'm struggling to find five. This is the thing that always gets me: is it's hard to. It, it's it's really hard to uh, look for the best in people, and it's hard to think that people have your have your back. Uh, it, outside of outside of those five people. It's hard to trust new people. It's hard to make new friends. Yeah, and then it's just like you commit to something and then you just totally get used in your situation. It's like, it's almost like you're doing somebody a favor. Yeah, trying to help out. And then it's like, oh, you're selling me. Yeah. Great. That's cool. Also, so you can make money? I'm not sellable. You're sellable enough, though, for what that crowd is. I guess so. I don't, who is that crowd? Uh, also, you know what idiots. I thought about doing? I think we should go on Hollywood Boulevard and wear those signs. You know those guys that like hand out their singles and their album? We just sign up, hand out our podcast? And we just like wear like a little poster. Of us? A po of us and just get one of those QR codes. I would be so bummed when no one knows who we are. Oh, I, I think... That would be discouraging. I, don't, I, I think you can't do it. I think you would get recognized. I think if I did it, I could probably get away with Why it. Why don't we for, just have him probably. do it? All right, Dennis. Is that in the package? Street team? Can you go out there? <laughs> yeah, great, thanks. All right, cool. Well, the fucking we got excited that over there, isn't he? No, the the thing that... that uh, Always a pleasure, Dennis. I figured out recently <laughs> is that you... The people that like in your are in your family or in your close circle, you have to always think the best of them because that's why you have them there. You want to always think that they do have your best interest in mind. Sure. That's hard for me to do with the people that are close to me. Sure. Because I may, I, I'd like to blame it on this city. It's because of my own trust issues, but this city certainly doesn't help. Yeah, but think about like, you had a shitty manager, right? Oh, I've had, right. oh yeah, yeah. I've had, I've had 
Well, I guess it was. There's one in particular that I'm thinking one, of. One, the was very shitty. first yeah. manager, she was literally a scam. And then yeah. I had a, like. Like when that, something like that happens to you. You're That's, just, that was my opening year here. Yeah. You're just kind of yeah. like, what do you believe? You know, like there's nothing to believe at a certain point. But that's business, right? Yeah, that's business for sure. But it's weirder when you're a kid. Somebody's taking advantage of a kid. That's true. You know, like that's terrible. What are you looking for? Cut on chapstick. No, sure. Let's make do sure it in the middle here. Sure you, well, no, if you're talking, it won't it won't uh, cut to me. But if you're not talking. No, this then. is probably when it's in the wide and it's just the side of my frumpy ass head. It's my favorite thing when I'm just sitting here. Looks nice Slouching. from this angle. Uh, you know, it's just like with Los Angeles. It's, you know, I, I get it. Everybody's just trying to make a living. Mm. And, and I've talked about this a thousand times, but like we're fortunate enough to where when we worked enough as a kid, we can buy ourselves time. Whereas a lot of people are like, dude, I got a, I, I got a year before I got to go home, you know? So you're trying, you're grasping at every straw you can find. But also the people that we're talking about do not have a year before they go home. They're, they're, there's, there's, there's money somewhere in there. And they're not yes. looking for money. They're looking for notoriety. I think that's the problem with the city is that some people are looking to make a living in it. Yeah. Some people are looking for the notoriety. Like there's a clip that I saw with Brian Cranston that, not, that I feel like I've seen like four times now where he's talking about um, if you have a love for the the art that you're in, it's a long-term relationship. He's like, the, the, the goal that I had was just to make a living from being an actor. I wanted to say no matter how much it was that I could just afford to That's be an actor and do nothing else. Yeah. So he said he was able to do that by like 25, but it still wasn't great. He was still living with like four people. Yeah. So he knew he was going to have to keep working to make it a, a more comfortable living. You had that at 10 though. It was tough, man. You know, it was tough. <laughs> <laughs> you were I living with to, four uh, people. <laughs> I had to buy groceries for my, my grandma, my you sister. Know, but the thing is too, though, like, I'll definitely I, spoil a little bit. I can't stand something that really bugs me in LA is when something hits for people. I mean, whatever. I I can't stand when like a like a TikToker. Oh yeah, it blows up and then they're like, "Well, I'm gonna try my hand in acting right now," and it's like, just because you did this thing, mm. like you're gonna try to go do that thing, and perhaps maybe that's like there's certain people who that was like their goal. Right, was yeah, like you I'm write. gonna post on social media clips of myself doing something like that, mm -hmm. skits, so that I can get into this. But if you were just a TikToker who's like, yeah, I'm just shaking my ass, and then you're like, well, you I'm, I'm write yourself try and delete of uh, script. And, sure, you know, you know, and I bet that'll go well. Um, <laughs> oh! <laughs> you know, but so, you know, it actually didn't. But so, you know, I'm saying like, just because you think you did this you can do that. And the thing is for us, I feel like I was thinking about this the other day, actually, we do this podcast, obviously for the people who are listening, obviously because we have a fan base and, and, and you know, it's a fun thing for us to do. But mm -hmm. at the same time, this is, uh, this is our way of candidly staying relevant or staying in front of a camera and continuing to do the thing that we love doing. It's all a part of like being able to say that I'm an actor, you know, cause it's like, this is all a part of it still entertainment, mm -hmm. you know? It's a big leap in a bounce from, oh yeah, I lip synced on TikTok to now I wanna if, perform. If it's not the thing that you're throw. dying to do, it feels like you're just- uh, Cheap. Saturating the pool of people who are- And that's the thing is like, when whenever I would talk to somebody who was like, maybe I'll try acting, it's like, that's not how that should be. That's like, imagine if I got f famous doing something and then I was like, I think I'm gonna try baseball. I think it's okay pros. if people do that if they are like if you're like, dude, you have to do it. Sure. Like like uh like Mike Pointer, but he's like, oh, I he's do hilarious. It. He he's could so you're do like, it. just yeah, because you're funny. You're like, but that they would also be do bits. Watch. So yes. that transition that wouldn't bug me. That part mm. does not bug me because it's like, it's the same thing. It's even Zach Justice does comedy, mm -hmm. right? So it's like the idea of him going and doing a comedic movie. I'd go, that's not a crazy leap. I think. It was frowned upon when, uh, I think, was it Addison Ray did that? Uh, that movie. Um, that, oh, it's horrible. The, horrible. Awful. I don't know what it was. Oh, it's but the then remake. She did, remake it, of uh, he, that she's guy. She's all that. She's all that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're Thanks, not Dennis. that guy, pal. Yeah. Did he say it? No. He just nodded. Like, huh, kinda, yeah. You know? Um, <clears throat> but then she auditioned for something mm -hmm. else, and the director was like, I, I don't care who you are. He's like, this is what I'm looking for. And so she sent in some tapes, and then he was like, yeah, it's a good tape. 
and she got hired. So because she worked for it, it she was rewarded. Now, I'm sure it helped that her who she was helped her get into the room, but he was like, I'm not going to give you this job unless I see the performance that I need. I actually feel bad for her. Why is that? Because... You think she deserves an Oscar? No. No. You saw that her begging for money on the street? movie, she stood no chance. Oh, no. She stood no chance. What are, what are you supposed to do with that? You're just... It's almost like they set her up to get made oh, fun yeah. of. That's what it felt like. Because it was like that movie, the dialogue, horrible. That's horrible. Not, there's nothing you could do with that. You couldn't put... If you put fucking... Funny. Really funny, though. Leonardo DiCaprio in that role. It's going to suck ass. I... That would be weird. I disagree with you. I think he would. I think they would just make it into a Romeo and Juliet. I've done a couple movies. Remember, we're gonna start purposefully arguing, purposely starting arguments with each other. It, in this one, you didn't like Romeo and Juliet. What? You did like Romeo and Juliet. You're arguing with me. <laughs> Fine. I'm saying, I've done a couple movies where I rewatched them and I was like, God, this was horrible. But then I had to kind of convince myself. I'm like, well, I guess I. I guess maybe I did the best with a bad situation. Like this movie was bad, but maybe, maybe somebody watched this and was like, yeah, this was terrible. He did fine. Like he did what he oh, could almost, with that. Almost everyone does that. But also, do you think that if you were put in a different situation with uh, with uh, an opportunity that you felt like was worthy of a good performance, don't you think that you would work a lot harder for it? Absolutely. I mean, and that's just the, the being spoiled. Because sometimes you get in and you're just like, man, yeah, this I mean, is what it is. We worked for six years on the same shit, so it felt like we didn't, we were just doing the same shit over and over. Now it's different. Now it's something that we want to do, develop different sure. characters, work on yeah, different projects. No, for sure. And if I got something where I was like, wow, I'm, this is so exciting to do, I want to just not talk to anybody for two weeks and just that's what I'm literally saying. read this. Literally sit and do this script. I'm like, how am I, what am I going to do once I get a movie? How am yeah. I going to golf, right? What am I going to do? Yeah, no, that's a tough thought. And I'm not. I'm not going to do it. I might start doing drugs. Drugs. To yeah. cope with not golfing. I was going to say something worse there. But you know what? <clears throat> that transition into love a that, good question? That transi transitions into wait, a great wait, question. Wait, wait, wait. What's the hardest drug you've ever done? <laughs> um, no, I, <laughs> I have some here, and I know that you're not going to answer them, which is why I want to ask them. Okay. Okay, first one. Do you know why I have met so many cordial coal miners? Is he setting up a joke? Well, they mine their own business. <laughs> <clears throat> Did you come up with that? And for my next joke. <laughs> I was in the car for six hours yesterday. And you were just doing bits. I was I was just looking around. Workshopping some working, stuff? Sh workshopping some stuff. You know, your Charlie Sheen thing that you walked in here with was pretty good. That was a pretty good joke. That really? was well, that was topical. Pop, oh, good pop culture you. joke. Should I say it? Um, I, yeah. Am I going to go for it? For that? Yeah, you're totally going to. That's not. You can't say that one. You oh. could say that one on stage. I think you could do that. You can't do it here. Yeah, I don't okay. think you want it to okay. live. Yeah, I'm saving it for my Make crowd. sure you write it down. Yeah, you're, you're, you're tight five. Um, <clears throat> we were, we were in the car for six hours and I, I started off tired and I got a caffeine high Then I was tired and I got another caffeine high yeah. and you know, those jokes come in between very different, very yeah. different between the caffeine high and the low, the low point is, uh, looks something like that. <laughs> yep. No, that's for sure. So what was the next thing? Um, have you ever been rejected by a woman? Oh yeah. And, uh, what, what is your favorite Rejection then, I guess. I didn't have a follow-up. I For, yeah, I didn't have a... Favorite rejection. Favorite rejection, I, I guess. Um, I don't know. I mean, the first time I ever asked a girl out, she said no. Was that the uh, Sun Life? <laughs> no. Oh, that <laughs> jackass. No, yeah, you know what? This, uh, uh, fine. That, that one Wait, pissed on. me the fuck we off. Gotta, we gotta say the whole saga of that, though. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. So I had just gotten out of a relationship and we were all hanging out to to make me happy probably 18 years old you know mm -hmm. and um we walked into sun life and this girl was working behind the counter gorgeous very very cute mm -hmm. girl i said something about how cute she was and 
my friends were like, hey, you should get her number. And I'm like, I'm like, come on, dude. We're yeah, building them up, you know, post breakup. Like, come on, dude, you got to get back out there. So we all walk outside and then you go back in. I'm like, I got you, dude. And you're like, hey, my, my buddy, you know, really thinks you're cute. Like, would love to get your number. She comes outside, which was so awkward. And she was like, hey, somebody <laughs> wanted to get my number. And I'm like, oh, God. Yeah, that was me, right? So I get her number. We started texting. What if she was like, oh, you? Oh, yeah, she was like, yeah. ooh, never mind. Yikes. Um, <laughs> she writes I mean, it down and then it. that's basically what happened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did it not? Yeah. So that she was like, you know, we started texting a bunch, and I planned a very cute date. She was a softball player. I was a baseball player. We are going to go on a date on a, on a baseball field. Going to get a little picnic. Night. Very cute. I, I knew this uh, good place. Um, anyway. Can I answer um, that email? What? Got to answer that email. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I found a, a baseball field that like has lights and everything and you can go do it. And we, I had a whole thing. Jelty. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's in the Encino Basin. It's yes. really romantic. Beautiful. Um, Balding grass. Yeah, so, you know, I, I, I set up this whole date for us and I mean, we're two hours out from this date. I'm getting ready. You're driving there. I'm, yeah, I'm rubbing one out. <laughs> no. That's disgusting. That is disgusting. I was a fucking vile. I didn't do that yet. Um, I would never jerk off. Yeah, I didn't start doing that <laughs> until my mid twenties. Um, and I started getting pimples. Yeah. So really rough. I was here. a late bloomer. It was weird. Um, no, so you know, I'm two hours out. Like late I, buster. You want to keep going? Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm two hours out. I'm getting ready for this date. I'm super nervous. I hadn't really like. I hadn't gone on a date because I started dating a girl when I was like 15 and then, you know, it ended when I was like 17, 18 years old. I hadn't been on a date as like someone I can go drive, pick up and do the whole thing. You mm -hmm. know, it was very young when we started. And then like, that was my first time doing that. So I was like super nervous and excited to do this. And she sends me a text and she was like, Hey, like, I'm so sorry. Like I forgot I have something homework to do tomorrow. I think it was a Friday. So I don't even know. Like, like, and she was like, so I gotta, I gotta do that. Um, Cool, it hasn't happened yet. But like, let's reschedule. And I was like, yeah, no, no, that's okay for sure. Um, I'm sobbing. No, I'm kidding. Um, Fully dressed, sitting there with a rose, <laughs> waiting at her front door. <laughs> I'm staring at her through the About window. About to knock. Like, right. <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, um, she was like, yeah, but let's reschedule. And I'm like, yeah, no, for sure. It's all good. So I kind of like let her do her thing. I was like, best of luck with your homework. And uh, it's fine. And I still like, I, I, if I would have heard that now, I would have been like, yeah, she's not into me. But at the time, I'm like, no, maybe she's actually doing homework. Well, also, it really depends on what happens next. Sometimes people are like, oh if my she's God. literally like, can you do tomorrow night? Yeah, Very or like, different. oh my God, hey, let's set this, this uh, yeah. next week. Like, seriously, I cannot believe this happened. Yeah. Like, I yeah. really want to see you. But it was like, it was the open ended, like, let's do this again. Yeah, let's yeah. try again sometime. It's like, and, you know, the first date, it wasn't like the second date. Right. Yeah. So then. I'm on Twitter later, and she fucking posts a photo at the beach, like hanging out with her friend that night. And Wait, I, who was the beach at night? I, I was weird in the first place, but there was a there was something that she did that I knew that it was that day. It wasn't like she posted an old photo or something like that. And so then I was like, "Wow, she no, just, she's a lesbian." <laughs> she must be. must be a lesbian. She's she another be woman. Because I had 18, I couldn't. It's not me. Dude, I couldn't believe the idea that somebody <laughs> would bail on a date with me. I'm like, well, she's a lesbian. So then I got to start telling everybody <laughs> she was a lesbian. She's a lesbian. Um, yeah. yeah. And then. It's a good strategy. Okay. So cut to I'm watching something. Uh, entertainment tonight. Something. About a rapper who I don't want to disclose the name. I don't of. think we should, but no. I we really we're so funny. It, a well known rapper, really well known rapper, being like, "Yeah, I just got married and had a kid," and then they were like, "Oh, really?" Oh, and here's, here's the picture wife. of the yeah, wife. Let's with show your the kid. wife, and I'm and like, like, and it was her. Yeah, that was I did. I, did I send that? You sent that to me, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I sent that. that. Everybody. I, I, I thought, and then I was I, like, "Well, fuck, she's not a lesbian. I just must have been ugly at 18." Uh, she could have been a lesbian before and then, you know. I guess that's maybe true. Maybe she's bi. She could be bi. She could be bi. Bye, bye, bye. Oh, I mean, like the ending of that story, though, is so good. Bananas. And it only took eight years. And it's actually even funnier if, like, I could say the rapper's oh, name. It's so it makes much it funnier. so much funnier. So much funnier. Um, Shit. Yeah. God, yeah. So good. Yeah. But it is what it is. 
Yeah, yeah. But, but I, hey, there's a rapper out there that took Bradley's lady. Who is it? It is also funny know. to think that, like, you imagine that's like your leap and your bound. Yeah, I was talking to this I guy. I was talking to this guy. Yeah, and then I went on to him. And it's like, oh, yeah. What? I think you're saying that you were like, you know, I, I, uh, yeah, I'm Eskimo. I was almost there. And then a lot. Travis Scott. Lots of things happen. Wasn't Travis Scott. No. That would be Kylie Jenner. And I don't think she was working at Sun Life. Also, are they together? I don't know. Hmm. They just have a kid, right? Yeah. Is Kanye still around? He's With alive. Yeah. I mean, he's alive. Is he just like still doing stuff? I think he's got three kids. He's got to hang out. They with have three kids. kids. Yeah. yeah. Do you think they ever hang out? Kim Two and kids? Kanye? Three, three kids. Six? He has six kids? Not with Kim. You're fucking with us. Not with Kim. He does not have six kids. Dennis, don't Dennis, just say this shit. This is just bullshit, man. There's no fucking way he's got six kids. Um, North St. Chicago and Psalm. That's, That's four. four. Okay, so you were, were both wrong? Okay, got but it. But somebody was closer. I guess it was us. That I mean, I don't know, though. He... Six, four... That's a lot. That's Next a lot question. for that timeline. Um, great. Um, have you ever been slapped or been in a fight? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh Sports. God. Sports? Yeah, playing softball. You've never been slapped by a woman? Wow. Have you? Did we talk about domestic violence on the show? I, I, maybe, maybe you said something offensive. Um... I don't think me I've ever been. saying something offensive. I don't think so. Um, no, so I've you never saying been, me? I could have said something offensive. I've never been slapped. No, I've been brutally beaten. No, I've been slapped by a man when I was like a kid. Yeah, who was the man? The mailman? I can't say who it is. It's a person. Do I know him? You, if I said the name, you would know him, and a lot of people out there would know him. No way. Yeah. Was it the same rapper who took it's my girl? It's the same rapper. <laughs> that I dick. was slapped by a rapper. This Look, guy guys, sucks. there's a lot of rap beef going on right now, and I I'm know. still involved in some of it. Um, I was uh, I was 10, and I said something about... I genuinely can't say what I said. I said something about his mother, and it was supposed to be a joke, and it was not funny because his parents had recently been divorced. But I was 10, and it was a your mom joke. Was it a grown man? No, it was a 10-year-old kid. Oh, you said man. What? You said man. Oh. It made it, did it not seem like like a man hit him? Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, no. That was weird. I expected you to be like, yeah. Like, it was Dennis. <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Dennis hit That's me. great, though. I, I, got, I, I meant a boy. Yeah, I guess. Um, no, I've never been hit in that situation. I was spanked a lot as a kid, though. But Were you that was like a pleasure thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was by men for... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, you want some better questions? Yeah, give me something spicy. Okay, I did have a good one. Okay, um, I'm excited. Well, I guess I have a couple good ones. <clears throat> About six and a half inches. That's disgusting. Oh. Um, what's your body count? <laughs> I would not. I'm not. I'm not going to talk about it. On well, the, so why would you uh, ask me? Yeah, you asked me for a spicy question. I gave you one. Um. It's not high. I don't have a high body count. I spent a lot of time. In What's a high body count? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what people scale. consider. Here's what I will say though. Uh, I feel like people in Los Angeles, and like like a major city like that, compared to like so you're allowed to get around more. Right? Rural Kentucky, it's going to be very different. Here's what I'll say about having sex in uh, smaller towns versus big towns. Other people are going to know about it. They're going to talk about sure. it. Here, Unfortunately it's a bit... for you, wherever you are, people are going to talk about it. Why? Why? I feel like they're going to go to LAI and sex with Jake Short. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's are you who, saying that like we would have that problem? That's what was talking about. Damn it, dude. You're not to supposed to tell everyone up. that. Yeah. She wanted to spice things up. One of your My next podcast <laughs> guest. <laughs> Dream sex on my podcast? <laughs> I'm going to find out. Wait, she was just on Call Her Daddy or Chicks in the Office? Call Her Daddy. Okay, yeah. I don't think she's uh, making her way to the sit and chat anytime soon. No. 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 <clears throat> Why do um, I feel like I could have a good conversation with her that one? Yeah, like, I think help we her. could really break it down. I do feel I do you like think you I can feel, help her, is that what you said? Yeah, like I genuinely have like a lot of empathy for her because it's a very, very 
I mean, obviously I didn't, I was never in the same situation, but like, I, I know that if you grow up in the industry and your family is uh, watching your every move, it's, it's very tough to sure. have your own identity in your own life. Yeah. And it's, it's hard to build that. Yeah. You know, it's good. It's, it's, we've had a couple of guests in this podcast that have experienced something similar and I think they look to us for guidance. A couple of guests, I mean, Jake and Bradley. <laughs> And I do look to me for guidance. I do. I try to guide my life pretty well. Yeah. Um, what I was saying was I do feel like uh, in L.A., mm. there's more, I mean, there's so many more people, you know? There's like, and that's not me. I, I do not have a high body count by any way, by any means, because I, by any way, I mean, I, I was in a relationship for two years, four years, and another two years. It's a lot of time. That's a lot of time. There's no time to go around. And I, I like to go to bed early. You think I'm going out and meeting people? I don't like to do that. I was single for five, four, two, two, three years. That's it. That's crazy. <laughs> what was it? Three. You started at five. Five to one. Uh, Twenty-seven. I'm actually still. Wow. Hey, I'm um, twenty-seven though. Oh yeah, happy belated birthday. Thank you. I have much. a present for you. I forgot Dude. to bring it. Yeah, it's just the same picture over and over again. I can't wait for next Christmas. I do have a present for you. And remind me to bring it. To me. If we're gonna Tomorrow. do something totally irreverent again, for, I will participate. For Christmas. Yeah. You know why? Because I bought the uh, I bought the water thing. Really? Yeah. Because I. You should have just kept it. Huh? You should. I should just kept that one. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Did you return it and bought it again? I, I returned it and then I got uh, one that does UV filtering. Ooh, nice. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, Dude, I'm such an easy sell. I was at. Uh, well, I, I went to bed the other night. And my, my apartment won't stay cold. I don't know why. So I need a fan. I need it like, in, like a tower I mean, It won't fan. stay cold. What's wrong with it? Dude, that fire really fucked up your building. No kidding. I don't want to get into the semantics of it because nobody gives a flying fuck. And semantics just left. Oh, my <laughs> God. So, <laughs> anyway... <laughs> I had to go buy a tower fan and I found one that I wanted and it's such an easy sell. This lady was like, this one hey. has an ionizer. She goes, but if you get this one, it picks up skin particles, picks up dust. Everything. You literally it's bought purified. the ionizer. And then she goes, and when it gets cold, you can go up to 92 degrees. And I was like, oh my God, that's warm. She was like, yeah, so it's both. And I was like, all right, I'll do it. All right, bitch. So she, <laughs> she goes, it's an extra hundred bucks. I go, nah, it's nothing. Extra hundred on top of what it was. It's like at that point, give me an extra. I, that's a good deal. And she was like, it's 250 off right now. And I'm like. And it's only $30,000? Yeah, dude. $250,000 How much off? is the most you would spend on a bed? Um, oof, okay. I was talking about this the other day with somebody. Two things. One, I want to tell you about uh, SNL and ask you if you ever wanted to. Are you doing SNL? Yeah, I just, I just started. Uh, wow, their hosts are I going just, really downhill. It went Gyllenhaal to you? Gyllenhaal just hosted? Uh-huh. Um, I don't find SNL that particularly funny as, as many. It used to be. As many years as it's been on television. I think it's uh, it's uh it definitely ebbs and flows. Right now, I'm not huge on it. <laughs> I think when like. But the, I would still die to be a part of when it. When Kristen Wiig, Will, Will Forte. It's pretty far away from that mic, huh? That looked weird, didn't it? Yeah, sure did. <laughs> did. Did that come across weird on, on camera? I'll just sit like this. Um, you know. Oh, no, God. If only we paid something for this. Um, anyway. When Will Ferrell, think, Kristen Wiig, and... Uh, not Will Ferrell. Will Forte. Oh, Will Forte, uh, yeah. When all those, like, once Will that Ferrell cast left... left about... Yeah, once that cast left... Then over. You it was over. You're a jackass. I um, fucking hate that guy. I'm sure it sounded like <laughs> over there. So there's also a video on clock clock. the internet called the grapefruit technique that sounds a lot like that. The and classic. if you have never seen it, don't look please it up. don't. Don't look it up. I did not send you that. Don't look it up. I didn't Especially tell you about because that we have a young audience and I don't want to do that to them. They're good people. They're innocent people. They were they until they feel saw like that video. Our children. I don't want to believe that they have sex. They don't. Our audience doesn't have sex. They're good. Definitely not good with kids. Dennis. Sorry, Dennis. <laughs> Um, <laughs> you got any more questions for me? Yeah, no, uh, actually I, I interrupted you about, uh, something, uh, a large sum of money. 
What was it? What's the most I'd be willing to pay for what? A bed. A bed. Um, so I actually have, I'm very strongly opinionated on this because how much, think about how much of your life you spend in a bed. They say you're supposed to get a bed every 10 years and I think that's horse shit, but definitely you should clean your bed so it lasts longer, whatever. It's eight years. Eight to 10 years, whatever. You spend a lot of time in those eight years of owning it or in your lifetime. You spend a lot of time. You're yeah. going to spend a, th- a, a third of, of your life. 100%. On your bed, probably. I agree. Close to that. Yeah. So if you're going to spend that much time on your bed, I think spending, first of all, if I could have a room with a Texas King in it that could be just a bed, I'd do it. I would say <laughs> the room is just the, a just bed. literally a bed. Like that's how big my room is, or that's how big that bed is. It would just I, I think yeah. my door would not even open. Sure, it's ma- it's massive. Or an Alaskan king, one of those two. Yeah, I would be willing to spend. I was the king of Alaska one time. <clears throat> I would be willing to spend up to ten thousand dollars. Sure, I wouldn't do it. Not my last mattress, I cheaped out on, and I hate it, and my back hurts all the time. But here's what I'm going to ask you. Because I heard about somebody who spent like 50 grand on a mattress one time. Now, here's my question, though. At what this episode point, brought to you by Neptune Mattresses. <laughs> Find your sleep under the sea. At what point are you going to notice a difference between a $10,000 to $50,000? Can you really tell the difference? Is Neptune a sea god or is he? Holy fuck, man. Answer the question. $10,000 or 50000 To 50. Are you going to notice a difference in sleep? No. A $10,000 mattress in is sleep? insane. Probably not. But if you have the gadgets and the features and this one's cooling and this one yeah but my parents had one that had like that kind of shit where it man 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 you know and it cools heats whatever and did they never use it they hated it yeah they hated it the worst thing about those is that they have a slit in the middle of the bed yeah so it's like a little sandal like some of them they attach at the bottom and they detach at the top and then so in the middle of the night you'll like fall into the middle yeah that's what they were saying that you could feel the seam in the middle what's kind of nice though is that like sometimes if you're a side sleeper or something you can just kind of just get in the middle and then lodge your arm in i heard a story of a guy who died was losing his virginity on a couch and thought he no 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 was in her but was actually having sex with the slit in the couch is this the uh the Nikki Glaser thing, the warm. Didn't she have a joke about a warm bag of pudding? In the I don't couch? know. But that's no. a true story. He was having sex with the, the side of the couch. Why would that make its way to the internet? I don't know. How much do you. But believe? I imagine sex with the side of a couch is probably <laughs> better than. <laughs> it's depending on the couch. If it's a love sack, you know what I mean? Probably better than that flamingo you took advantage of last week. Dude, imagine that was our ad for Love Sack. We're just like, God, if you really need Find your sex, flamingo. Yeah. <laughs> um, you like that? How about that coal miner joke, Dennis? You like that a lot, huh? Uh, are we staying on the sex topic? This is weird. Um, what was like, the worst feel like you really sex talk experience to you've side? ever had? Probably with you. I thought it was great. You treated me very well. Sexually. But uninviting. How's this? <laughs> hey, Dennis. What was the worst sex you've ever had? Um, I'm sorry. What was the actual question? Worst sex experience you ever had? Um, wow. Wow. Um, you know, I I can't say that uh, I've had I've had too many. I think uh, I think everyone should be grateful for the opportunity to have sex when with it, you. That's not what I was going for, but yes, of course. Um, <laughs> I think uh, you should be. Every man should be grateful to be. Um, in in that uh, situation with <laughs> just someone to be able that they to have love, sex. yeah, um, or not love, you know, just just uh, it's fun, it's a good time, right? This is great, love getting into it. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, I think I had, I, I, I probably had. Uh, <sighs> wow, I can't say it. I literally cannot say it <laughs> because this person is very nice. They uh, were just, uh, I was, I was helping them through a time in their life where they were teetering whether or not they wanted to uh, be with uh, men, or, men or not, men or women. And and you were like the deciding factor of her being like, well, nope, that's not what men. It, and I um, sure did end up being that. No but, way. But um, it was, it was uh, a very friendly experience. Did she shake your hand and go, thank you for helping me figure this out? Uh, it didn't happen like that, but... Uh, she just went, oh, she's not, never mind. She's not, uh, she was nervous. Oh, God. <laughs> wow. 
That's bizarre. That it was, was bizarre. That was a bizarre one. Very sweet person, though, <clears throat> and yeah. uh, was very, very friendly. That's so, great. Still cool. Cool. You yeah. got any questions? <laughs> sure do. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait for, for Mika to see this episode. I wonder if she's just going to go, what's wrong with you? Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever ghosted anyone? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. There you go. Go yeah, I mean that it is what it is. I, I, you know, I'm not gonna lie. Pretend. I didn't lie. I wish I had lied just now. I wish I had said every sexual experience well, was gone. To, to be Great. fair, you can still cut it if you want, but um, no, it's okay. We don't do that. We don't lie to our audience. Um, I've never cut anything either. You're not circumcised. No. Whoa. Are you, you don't, circumcised? You don't do your, your kid. Yeah. Yeah. I am. Yeah. 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 And you know, there's people out there who are like mad at their parents for circumcising them. Oh yeah, I know. That's crazy to think. It just changes your sex a little bit, I think. But also keeps it clean. It does, but in modern society, it's not that big because we have access to showers and the ability to. Um, but go ahead, tell us about the time you ghosted someone. <laughs> um, I would say everyone I've ever ghosted, I've also unghosted. But well, it's. It's it, ghosting is a is it is childish. I, I've never I don't think like you would do it like. I've never like dated like and hung out with someone like a bunch and then just stopped talking to them. You know, if anything, it was like a fling, and then mm. was just like this thing was going. That, away I, anyway. I don't think it's ghosting, but that's that's the only reference. I would never like. You know, like. You can't think of anyone. No. <laughs> That you might have uh, gone out with a few times. Nope. Are we thinking of the same person? Yeah. Moved to New York. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A couple months. I did. I did. That one was <laughs> bad. <though. laughs> that was a rude one. I was in a bad phase of my life. And that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. I think I think it it's very uh it's very common. A lot of people have done it. I think the the difference between the people who have done it and the people who don't do it. And the people continue to do it as you realize that it's fucking immature and yeah, it horrible. Is. And also, it almost never makes you look better. <laughs> no. And on it, top of it, like, too, the lie not. that I told was just stupid. Because it was like, it's pretty easy to fact check that one. Yeah. You know? Tough. It's not like you can see if she uh, married a rapper or anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> the problem was, is I didn't want to be me. Like, that was like, in my head, the justification of it was like, I, I would rather say that than be like, hey, I just don't like you. Mm. That felt more hurtful, you know. So it was. But that's like, the thing, is it wouldn't be. N n now you know that. Now I would understand being just candid and saying like, "Hey, it's Money it has nothing to do yeah. with you. I just it's this just isn't something I'm looking for." Also, I think that's a fair lie. I think if, even if it has something to do with that person, yeah, I I don't think it's necessary. Why do you have to unless, tell somebody? Unless you're in a two year relationship and you're like, right. "Here's everything." And you deserve this. If it's like a few dates and it's like, look, it's just not working. It's not you, but it's like, I'm just not in that place right now. You know what I've never done that I can never understand? Mm. I know you've never done it either. Cheating. I don't, I don't get cheating. I don't get cheating. I don't get it at all. I, I don't get cheating because there's 8 billion people. Sure. There's, I mean, I feel like it was, it just made more sense before you live in a small town. No. Well, let's think about something. Come on, let's let's think about this, Dennis. There's eight billion people. Cut it in half, men. You're not interested in men, unless are you? Well, this is news to me. Know. It's fine. I if still I, love you. If in this world of cheating, I might be interested in men. So you got four billion people. Then let's cut out another two billion are probably married in a relationship. Married in a relationship, a child, something like that. Maybe even a little more. So okay, so a million. There's, there's probably a million. <laughs> I, I guess <laughs> wow, we cut out a billion million. people. I mean, you probably, in your age range, young women, you're probably looking at 500 to a billion. Okay, let's call it 500. Okay, 500, 500 million, million people. That's a lot of people. That's so many. That's, that's like your more Instagram than the population. Following. What? That's your Instagram following. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm fucking huge. <laughs> um, it's you and Cristiano Ronaldo. Does he have half a million people? No. But he has half a billion. <laughs> I don't have half a million. Anyway, the cheating thing for me is just like... I just died and it didn't cut to me. Like, if I'm talking to a girl, like the, 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 the girl I'm talking to right now, right? If I was to go hook up with a girl, I would actually feel bad. And we're not in a relationship, you know? Mm. It's like, I that would actually give me guilt and I would feel uncomfortable and I wouldn't do it, you know? 
But a, like, I couldn't imagine being in a relationship with a person and then that guilt. That's what I'm saying. If you're in a relationship with someone and you love that person, if you think that there's something better out there, that's what I'm saying. There's so many people. The difference is building a life. Sure. And people are like, I am so far into this, like in cheating 20 years into marriage, which I think is so much worse than than cheating into like a, a casual relationship. Sure. But that's like... I don't see anything wrong with cheating. <laughs> no, like you you know the, the relationship that I had where the conversation was more of like uh you know it's not it's just like I just don't if I'm honest like I don't think that this is working. I don't think it's Oh, no, work. I'm not I'm not going to cheat on someone because you can just have that conversation. That's never going to hurt my feelings. Yeah. To be like it it's just like you know I don't see this working. If yeah, you can see that who, amazing. Who do it are just I guess bored is too simplified, but like or scared, bored in their relationship or scared to or scared to leave it. them. Yeah. Yeah. Because they're comfortable. Yeah. Not even just comfortable, but like maybe. Who are we talking about? I think you know what I'm talking about. Sometimes people are very dependent. Oh God. You know? Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. And you're just kind of like, dude, this would because be a lot could- easier. It's hard to be alone. It's hard, it's hard to, be, to alone. be relying on someone in a part of your life that you're going to have to totally negate and restart. <laughs> but at a certain point, that's the journey of life. Yes. And don't you know that you could probably be happier? Do yeah. you really think you're going to be worse off? No. Really? No. And also like, you're you going to meet somebody. You lost for a little bit. You're going to meet somebody. You're going to. When I got Even out of my last relationship. Same, you're going to be lost. It's fine. Just accept it. When I got I'm out just, of my last relationship, big bummer. I was not in a good mood, right? And our good friend Chris Strong, you heading out for this one? Yeah, go ahead. If you get could out just here, get out of here, thanks so much. It'd be great. Yeah. Um, our good friend Chris Strong mm. told me he was like, "Hey, you remember how sad you were when you broke up with your last girlfriend?" And I was like, "Yes." And he goes, "This might sound stupid, but like, you got over it." Mm-hmm. And he was like, "You're gonna get over this." And I was like, "Yeah, it's all time. It's just time." Because at the time when it happens, you're like. I could just die. This is well, just horrible. I don't want to deal with it. Everything, everything horrible that happens, you're like, oh my God, this feeling is never going to leave. Yeah. I mean, it's like getting pinned for shit. You're like, oh, I was this close and I'm going to feel like shit forever. No, I'm just going to feel like shit for a couple hours, a couple days, a couple months. And then you talk to somebody else who you really care about and you really like, and you're like, wow, this is so much better. Mm. This person gives me so much more and makes me so much happier. And like I, I couldn't even imagine going back to that because this is so much better. You know? Have you progressed in the last week since I talked to you? Have things changed in what we're talking about? Yes. Yeah. Anyway, wow. um, that's crazy. Uh, so anyway, do you want? We're not hashing that out. No, we're um, not gonna do that right now. We're not doing that. But so, anywho. Well, that brings me to my next question. Goddamn! Look at him blushing and all. Um. Has your family ever been involved in your relationships? Oh, fuck yeah. That's a problem for me. Um, I have a big family, and my family's yeah. very close. In what way are they involved? Are they involved in, in the decisions you make, or they're just involved in the things <laughs> just, that happen? You're like, ah, oh, this thing happened today, and they go, what? And then it just makes its way around? Yeah, it all makes its way around. Because sometimes, like, I, sometimes I'll tell my sister something, and I'll be like, yeah, you know, I'm talking to this girl, whatever, blah, blah, blah. 20 minutes later, your mom's like, And then my mom's on the phone, and she's like, who's, who's the girl? And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, literally, what is wrong with you people? Did you, you guys know? fucking tweet it or something? Yeah, it's like, what's going... Like, is are you guys in a group chat? Like, that once I say something, you start sending it out? But then I find myself like, oh, my sisters were in some drama a few weeks ago, and I'm calling my other sister, and we're being like, you know, oh, did you hear what they did? And then I'm like, oh, I'm just as bad, you know? Two sisters were arguing, so me and the other sister were like going back and forth when we would get information from the individual sisters. And it was like, it was just this whole thing. And it was exciting, you know? Because it was like, that's a horrible. (laughs) That's a horrible. That's a horrible. No, it's like that. I saw something. I saw like a little, I saw a little TikTok or a reel or something about gossip. Um, No, it was was a real. But I'm just trying to get, uh, no, I'm not. And I'm glad I'm not because it's going to be gone in eight months. That's for sure, yeah. Unless someone buys it for a hundred billion dollars. Was that Biden's doing? Uh, yeah. That's not a good look going into the election. What's worse? Wow. Well, it's going to be a tough sell, pal. That was bad. You got 34 counts of a felony or 
banning TikTok. What's worse? Um, well, Trump tried to do it first, and then Biden. But he didn't. He did not. So, so. not a good look. He lied. <laughs> a lot of I lies. Guess. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I saw some. I saw just a, a TikTok. I saw a reel. About these girls, like, going, oh, we shouldn't talk about uh, Kelly. We shouldn't do that. No, oh, Kelly's a nice girl. No, oh, no, she's you're super nice. It's just, you know, sometimes she's, you know, not as nice. No, but she's super nice. And then at the end, they're like, and fucking Kelly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just that thing where it's so powerful and, and innate and primal, and you just want to talk. But guys don't do that. That is no. a girl thing. Because, like, if I, if I just don't like a person, I just don't hang out with them. You know, whereas oh, like yeah, girls, gossiping about your friends. Yeah. Versus, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I I, mean, if you do something that pisses me off, odds are good. The first person I tell is you that like you're like you're annoying me so much right now. Yeah. We've gotten into many arguments. All kinds. Then you work through it. I'll start arguing right now. You know I, I will. Pretty close. Yeah. But like, that's just how it goes. Whereas girls would be like, it's a whole thing. You know, they got to like, well, well, we hang out. We're fine. It's no big deal. And it's like, dude, just don't hang out. If, like, while you're sitting there, you're thinking, I fucking hate this bitch. Then it's like, what are you doing? Why are you doing this to yourself? Yeah, I guess that's why I got to get out of that thing, man. I just can't do it. A <laughs> <laughs> thing, you know, the L.A. people are just talking about. Like, that person's not no. my friend. No, not yeah. your friend. You should get out of that. Um, well, because I didn't know it was going to be. I was like, oh, I'll do you a favor. And then you fucking, damn it. Yeah, 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 man, yeah. It's yeah, tough, yeah. man. I guess Did it we... makes me feel good about how famous I am. You know? <laughs> I'm so famous. <laughs> Unbelievable. As you know. I mean, you can't go anywhere. Oh, my God. I forgot we still have that episode. Oh, we could. Rever God oh, damn God. it. So anyway. Um, Son of a bitch. Um, wh I, what was the last question that was asked? Did we wrap up on that? Um, how many fingers and toes do you have? Uh, has your family ever been involved? In oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so no, no, no. But the thing with... Uh, I've, I've come to the terms of like, I'm going to need to date a girl for a while now before I bring her to my family. It's got to be a while. Mm. And they did it to themselves because they didn't even know it. <laughs> you know, my fa I love my family dearly. Amazing people. They're just like, they're very protective of me, you know? That's fair. And also on top of it too, it's like, I'm the only boy. So it's a lot of girls. So I would imagine that like, that's so tough. She's got to join their clique. Yeah, that's a tough thing. And that's a tough thing because it's not like their clique is a bad thing, but it's just them. It's, well, it's also been... It's all of them are your sisters, so their clique sure. has been going on for yeah. all of your youngest sister's life. life. Right. Yep. And it's like, you know, they're all married and had kids. So it's like the only interesting thing going on is their well, single doing, younger brother. Yeah. yeah. You know? So celebrity get, of the family. Yeah. Celebrity on the sit and chat. We'll see you guys yeah. on Hollywood Boulevard. Yeah, they're like, we'll God, his posters. podcast does so well. I bet my siblings have never listened to this podcast. Um, a couple of them. Maybe. My brother-in-law does. I know that. Big Al. Alex listens? Yeah. What a good guy. There's funny people who like randomly will be like, I love your show. And I'm like. Funny people? No, like, ran like random people. Oh. I was like, oh, wow, we're yeah, funny? Yeah, no funny people. No, I don't think that. Not one think funny so. person. Hey, by the way, I was uh, looking at our our shit, right? Our social shit. Um, So we had... Just started a TikTok, like probably, I don't know, a couple months, couple months ago, yeah. maybe, maybe, but we're super late um, because I don't use it. You don't use it. And it's so funny, the stuff that goes viral on there, because I feel like half of the shit that people see is not, they're not seeing us and recognizing us necessarily. Some of them are, but uh, we just sometimes say things that are. Just so awesome. And, <laughs> um, no, I think we say things that are a little controversial some, or like something that gets people's attention. What's your most God, controversial opinion? Clickbait. Um, wow. The things that just pop into my head that I can't <laughs> believe I almost said is just unbelievable. Um, you can't believe it. I can't believe it. It's controversial. You just learned. Um, it, it really, I don't have that many controversial beliefs. I just, I like to be controversial because I like to get people riled up. But that's also... I'll say something. Okay. Tesla drivers are the worst drivers in the world. Oof. No? What's the worst driver, Dennis? Not a Prius anymore. Tesla took over. Bro, oh, Priuses were awesome. Hailed. Like 2009, they, 2012 oh, That was the classic era. worst driver.
<laughs> okay. okay, no, we're talking about cars. I really hope that the mic God couldn't hear that. Damn one. it, dude! You son of a bitch. Yeah, we all know that one. <laughs> Forgot elderly in there too. That's like I hate Tesla drivers. Oh, oh my I whole saw, stomach's hanging out. I saw a um, on that six-hour drive. We saw like a brand new Forerunner, like that Land Cruiser, or whatever that just came out. Sick. You're a piece of shit. It was it really is. He is a piece of shit. He really is a yeah. piece of shit. I, it was I don't think it's talked about enough. The whole front end had like, I don't know if it actually exploded, but it was missing the whole left side. You suck. Okay? <laughs> I just can't you, believe. I just I can't mean, believe. What, what is What was the conversation and then you thought, no, you know what's worse than people who drive Teslas? Such a specific this. thing. God. Um, I would love to be controversial. I, that's, a, that's a good controversial statement yeah um, um but uh, you know how many things have been uh removed from the office this is can you stop doing that? um how many how many like cold opens and bits and jokes have been removed because they're controversial. slightly more controversial now yeah but i and think the like, world's moving man i think is. we're moving back i think we're moving back to like hey you know what nobody was finding this crap funny things used to be fun you should be yeah. allowed to joke around you allowed to have fun. I'll tell you this. I went and visited some friends. This whole group of people was like, hey, this girl, like, she loves getting roasted. Like, her favorite mm. thing. So she's like, you just just roasting her and her life. Like, she thinks it's hilarious. And my friends were like, hey, you're a funny guy. You, you, when she gets here, just, just roast her. And I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, for sure. So I'm just going hard on this girl the whole time. Starts crying. No, no, no. She, awesome person. Took it like, like, she found it. So funny. So then it was just like, oh, we can just kind of say whatever. It's super fun, you know? She was like, you know, my parents, I asked about her parents, and she's like, nah, they got divorced at a young age. And I was like, did you feel like it was your fault? And we just kind of like talked about that for a minute. And she said something about how her mom cheated on her dad. And I was like, oh, I wish you wouldn't have told me that because that's all I'm going to be thinking about now. And she was like, what about you? Are your parents divorced? And I go, no, no, my, my mom was faithful. And that got a good laugh. You can write that one down if you That's want to good, yeah. it for later. Mm -hmm. and then Is that what you she, told her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She goes, um, she was talking about she really wanted loaded fries with poutine. And she goes, but she couldn't remember the name of it. And she was like, it's like something that everything comes on. And I go, hey, your mom. Your mom? That, was, that one felt good. I was say, poutine was the name. Was that the, uh, that the name of the nickname? guy? That, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Um, Yours is better. Thank you. And then let me try to think uh, if there was another one. Are you thinking of good roast jokes that you roasted her on? Yeah. Um, I'll say something controversial. I love a good roast. I, I want to be roasted. Based on what you're saying, I think we are trending in the right direction, uh, comedy-wise. I think we can make fun of a lot of stuff. But this is what I'll say, because uh, this isn't an offensive word to say out loud, but it is certainly offensive in the comedy wor world. Um, when what we went to see <laughs> Andrew Schultz and uh, Shane Gillis, yeah. they used the word gay a lot. Sure. And I think that it was funny at one point, and I think a lot of people find it funny now. But I think the problem with the overcorrection that we're trying to yeah, it have gets weird. is it when you overuse it, it feels more personal than it's intended to be. Sure. And that was the whole problem with the word originally. Yeah. So I see when you're, you're sitting in the audience and you're homosexual, I think if, if someone's saying gay, gay, gay the whole time and, and you, you start to bring up things that are less about like, oh, that thing is gay, whatever, you start to say about like, I'm not going to say who the comedian, actually, no, I'll say who it was because he's releasing a special about it, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it was Andrew Schultz and he was talking about like, oh, I just don't want my kid to be gay. It's like, all right, you can't, you can't say the word and he was, gay. he was joking. And he was joking. Yeah. But you can't say the word enough and then work it into the bit to where people are like, okay, well, maybe the word is funny, like in the in the sense that it was funny in the 2000s, but as soon as you start to make it personal, which is the problem that Kevin Hart had, right? Yes. I think, I think it's, I think it's lazy. That's what I think. That's I think some people opinion. could argue swearing is lazy. Jerry I think Seinfeld it is lazy. Or, I think it's it? lazy. Jerry Seinfeld doesn't cuss on stage. Yep. I think clean comedy it can be good but you got to do it well that's not even controversial you got to get, get you got to do it well at the beginning that's sure. that's the one thing i took away from like i took one of those classes and they're like look be as dirty as you want but if you're not funny 
when you're clean, you're not funny when you're dirty. So you know what I noticed? And I noticed this at the roast too. People try to swear to make things funnier. Like cover up something that's Cover up the, like the insecurity in the joke. Yeah, it's like putting Febreze in a fart. Still a fart, you know? Like that what one. an unreal like <laughs> comparison. I, yeah. That I kind of get what you're talking about. You know? Yeah, because then it kind of just makes it all weird. You're like, this, God, this, this fart smells like fart. Yeah. yeah. Um, First poop joke we've had in a while. <laughs> wow, that's refreshing. So we're back to Mighty Men, man. Um, no, but like, you know, people will swear to be funnier. And I see it all the time with like people trying to... I And I don't know if you feel the same. I feel like we've kind of talked about this. I do feel like when people... If I first meet people in a, a different state, different city, whatever it is... They like know, oh yeah, you work in comedy. I'm gonna try to be really funny to you, so that like you think I'm like, oh yeah, funny. And, and, like I'm the fun one in my group, so I'm gonna be funny to you. I want you to see that, you know. It's like the Bradley Cooper thing that he talked about in the. It was like he he was just around a bunch of funny people, and they were like, hey dude, you're not funny. You're not funny. Yeah. You're just being mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then so oftentimes I feel like people end up being mean. Mm -hmm. Someone Somebody just got broken. shot. Yeah. Okay. Um, no, but like. You know, I feel like when people do that, they swear a lot. All the time. They yeah. swear a lot. And it makes everything less funny. Every once in a while, and I, I swear a lot, I get that. But like, when I do swear, I really try to make it that it's hopefully emphasizing the joke. Mm -hmm. Not like, oh, fucking bitch ass pube hair. You're like, yeah, you're like, oh, pube hair. Yeah, yeah it's, it's not like, funny. it's not funny. No. And so, you know, I'm I'm I, I'm trying to get to the point where I'm the only time I swear is when it's like that made it funnier. Yes, you know, it's uh, I mean, you're basically using it as a setup. Sure, it's it's not keyword is not the word for it, but there's a like, it's it's got to be yeah, it's got to be helpful to the joke. Yeah, and then there's also times too, it's like where my like my dad does this thing that I always find really funny. Buzzword where he maybe that's it. My dad always like. Uh, He'll like kind of say it under his breath in a sense, where like somebody says something, and like, fuck. Like, and that's funny. <laughs> that's so funny. That's like yeah. really funny when he says it like that too. But like you can't ever do that. Also, he doesn't do that. He's a dad. He's saying it under his breath. And it's mostly it's it's for him and then it's for, for whoever else happens to hear it in his vicinity. It's also I joke. don't know why this is really funny to me. When a girl calls a guy a bitch, oh, hilarious. So funny. And when a girl gets called a dick, hysterical. Funny. That's yeah. always funny. I don't I don't know why, but I think it's funny. I don't know why. I like it. A lot of bitches. It's one of my, uh, what does he say? He's like, my, my believies. My believies. Yeah. Um, so I want to read a couple of these comments. We're going to go to the questions. Yeah, the yeah somebody asked in the comments. <coughs> I'm going to do like three the, or four. To do more <laughs> fan questions in the solo. Holy shit. Okay, great. So we're going to do, we got some time here. We actually, we could just do a seven hour episode. Do I look right? tan? You do look tan. Thank I was going to say that. Thank you so much. I've been working on it. Should we go to salon or what? No. Just the sun. Okay. I'm not a, a sunscreen guy, though. Yeah, yeah I horrible. was. I was laying out by the pool the other day. I wear so much sunscreen. I know you do. And it shows. Because I'm not wrinkling. Am I wrinkling? You wouldn't mean I, it shows. Because you're pale. Oh, good. You're not pale. You just have a golfer tan. I do. I'm trying to get rid of mine. Farmer's tan. Yours, yours is working its way up. It's, it's better. It, yeah, it's getting there. I got um, shattered the other day. Hey, question for the pod. This is from... Well, who else would it be for? Ken, uh, Ken is, Standridge. God forbid there's a question for Dennis. Um, uh, question for the pod. If you knew how being a child star would affect your adult life... I saw this one. Whatever that, whatever that means to you, would you still have done it? And, of course, why? My answer will always be yes. I loved mm. my life. I had a great time. Um, uh, I'm here now because of it. Of course I would do it all over again. And I think that... You know, if there's times where you struggle with work, the only reason you were in that position in the first place is because of the work you did before. True. So I think I would change some things that I did. But overall. In my perception, but the uh, the broad sense of growing up in the industry and then being where I'm at now, I wouldn't change that. Yeah. yeah. Um, I might change it if there was a, like another sacrifice. If it was like... What is it? What, just uh, you would whatever that means to you, would you still have done it? Yeah, I'd sacrifice my grandma. Jesus. For, for more fame? That's crazy. Um, if you knew how it, being, it would affect your life. 
So if it wasn't about how it would affect my future life, it was more about like, um, if you could have this one thing or do this, would you do that? Do you feel like fame affected you as a person? Oh, 100%. Yeah. In a negative way? Um, yeah, I think it's in a negative way. Uh, but I also think that's just development. I think that there are things that you learn that are incorrect that you need to work through. But here's what I'll tell you, though. I'm happy, and I'm sure you feel the same way. I'm happy that happened to us at a young age because now, let's say you book something and you blow up, right? Mm. It's not going to be as dramatic of a life change because you're like, no, I don't care about that portion of it. So I'm, never I'm just happy to be working again. people differently. Exactly. Because it, it, it always... can happen to you at a young age, but we see a lot of people, I think we can both think of somebody in particular, mm. that it happened to recently... And you're like, wow, you don't know how to handle this. No. And that's a bummer because you're like, I I get that this doesn't, none of that matters. None of this fame, all these people going, hey, come to this, come to that, go to this. Like, oh, yeah, we'll get you to the table there. And we'll do all these we're things. We're talking about the same person. That person's very sad right now. 100%. Yeah. yeah because it's not real. It's Because they feel isolated. Yeah, it's not a real thing. And then it goes away so quickly. It, it, there are negative things, but I, I am glad that for the lessons that I have learned from those things. 100%. I will say that. And also, like, you know, I was talking to my mom about it the other day. Uh, you know, growing up, you'd go to the grocery store and get mobbed over, you know, like a bunch of teenagers recognizing you, and it's a whole thing. I blocked that out. But I was saying to her is I was like, man, I, I don't. She was like, do you miss that? Like, do you, because she was like, I feel like you appreciate when people recognize you more now. And I go, I appreciate it because I, I understand. I do a podcast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, well, because this podcast is just so big that it's like it's huge. <laughs> Everybody's talking about it. No. Um, I appreciate it because now I realize when somebody says something to me, all that means is that they watch something that you did and that's really cool. But mm -hmm. at the time, I was like, man, I can't go somewhere and that's affecting my life and I just want to be normal. I just want to be here. But it's like, well, why would you want to just be normal at a certain point? Like, and now I look at it and I'm like, that was really cool. That was a cool thing that people really cared about. And that's, I mean, that, isn't that the goal of working as an actor is to like yeah. do something that was meaningful to people? And so when somebody recognizes me now, it, there's no hesitation in my brain that like, that's awesome. How, how great is it when people tell us that they love our podcast? It's great. It's cool. I've started just saying it to people and people are very You tell people that you love our podcast? Away, I say I love our podcast and you should too. <laughs> but it's true though. I mean, it's like, it's it's really exciting when somebody says that because you're like, man, it's something we have we have worked hard at and we, we continue to try to do and we try to be entertaining. And so when people say that they enjoy it, you're like, yeah, thank God. You know, somebody likes it. Fucking Dennis can't stand it. I like that a lot of people that are here um, haven't really listen to podcasts before. I don't know a lot of people, but I've seen quite a few comments. People are like, I don't listen to podcasts. Uh, you just turned my voice off. <laughs> Did you just turn <laughs> mic totally off? Uh, I don't listen to, <laughs> I don't listen to podcasts. I definitely don't listen to you because Dennis fucking shut your mic off halfway through talking. But <laughs> they, the, well, you started speaking and you just went, oh God, geez, no, turn that just, down. Jesus. But a it's, lot of it's, anger going on over it's here. hard to sit down and listen to anything for an hour, even if you're in the car to, to, to focus on sure. something like that. Yeah. And to, to have that devotion from people, to sit here and listen to us talk about your body count. You know? <laughs> yes, Why great. just mine? But also, like, specifically, I think about, like, the podcast that I listen to mm -hmm. and how much I enjoy that. So the fact that somebody does that for ours, weird. You're all weirdos. It's weird. we're not that funny. We're not funny. I mean, we're keeping we're the talking. lights on at this comedy store, but, you know. What, this comedy are, store. <laughs> we're at the comedy store right now. Um, there's three more questions that I want to read. I'm going to do this one because I want to read the whole thing and then I'm going to do a, a, a fun one too. Uh, they're all fun actually. I'm having a great time. You want to hold hands? Okay. No, uh, I'm, I'm finding new freckles. Whatever happened to the Hit the Break podcast? Okay. And then the next comment <laughs> goes, there's a reply and he goes, they already explained that in past episodes. And this person goes, well, I didn't see that. Could you explain it? And the other person comes back and goes, problems with the producer. They didn't say what kind of problems. I mean, that's all it was. It was just yeah. disagreement. I just like that that Someone yeah. took care of that. Yeah, thank you. That's so great. Much. That's our assistant. Um, yes. Yeah, I course. mean, to simplify, it was just disagreements. No no problem, really. It was just more of different directions. We're here now. That yeah, happens we've all had, the time. We've had a couple uh, couple great 
uh, clips on our on our um, Instagram and TikTok, and now they're back to where they yeah were before. Um, what's That's just the, hard work, baby. Um, Braden L. Punk. Oh, Braden. Oh man, I just don't know. Like when there's no spaces in yeah. the username. Braden um, would be a nine two name. five nine. So what's the difference between a four camera sitcom and a regular drama? Oh, that's a great question. That's a fun question. Wow. Um, I, I mean, like it's I'm... kind of in the title. I mean, there's a difference between four cam and single cam. Even though single cam isn't just one camera. No. They, but a four camera sitcom is when the show is flat, basically. It's more like a play. Kind of like what we're doing right now. Yeah, there's there's no fourth wall. You don't see everything. You just shoot flat. That's why people are always kind of turned open to it. There's four cameras, and it covers everything. You only have to do it a few times. Single cam, if it's the two of us having a conversation, they're getting his coverage, they're getting my coverage, then they got to get a two shot of all of us. They're getting Maybe wide. They're, you know, if he exits, they're going to get it over here where he's leaving. It's it's more intimate in there. Four cameras is supposed to feel more like a stage play. Four cameras is a stage play. That's what I was going to say. Yep. Yeah. Good job. Um, that was fun. That is a really cool question, though. Mm-hmm. This is my comfort podcast. Thank you, Hannah I I H Rig. Hina Hibri, Hina Hibrig. I don't know. This is my comfort, but also, um, okay. She said okay in here. <laughs> if you guys could look, it's not be <laughs> cast in any Disney Pixar live action movie, uh, which would you want to be cast in, and who would you want to be? Uh, and I want to answer that because I grew up loving the Iron Giant. Oh, and that's I a cool. Wanted to be that kid wow. so bad. That's a cool answer. Yeah. I was going to say... I was always used to cry at that. I even think of it now. I'm getting emotional. Yeah, that's a great... Oh, the end of that? Great movie. Oh. Dude, literally, I'm getting emotional. I was going to say... because we're talking about this stuff at like 10 in the morning. On a Sunday. On a Sunday. I was going to say Toy Story. Mm. Who would you want to be, though? Well, I could... I mean... Buzz Lightyear, obviously. Or Andy, honestly. Andy. Yeah. He's not in it that much, but... But you wouldn't want to know that your toys come to life? I would be, well, that would be weird because you'd be live. That would be a weird movie. That would be a weird movie. They would just be shrunken people. Andy would be animated. <laughs> he comes to life. <laughs> um, no. Uh, yeah. I mean, I think it'd be cool to play like Woody or something like that. I could play Woody. I kind of look like him. Do you think that's Tom Hanks' best character? Wow. That would just be such a <laughs> insult such a, to that man's career. Such a really bold yeah. stance to no, take. No, Castaway. <laughs> Terminal. Ah, Toy Story. Yeah. Toy Story, though. Can't I feel like there are people out there that would say that, though. You know? Yeah, and then you're people like, you don't watch movies. You don't know. You, you don't, don't watch I'm movies. Cool. Was there another question? Um, was that, it? that was it for today, actually. Should we wrap this bitch up? Yeah. Put a bow um, on it? I'd like to say thank you for the people who have stuck around for another solo episode. But hey, stay tuned for that bonus episode. Yeah, so today, this episode's coming out tomorrow. And then there's another coming up the next day, possibly. That's Maybe correct. the middle of the week. Maybe we break it up. You get a little double action. It's coming out Tuesday. All right. Hey, we just decided right here it's coming out Tuesday. It's coming out Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. yeah. It's right. looking like Tuesday. Um, um, well, hey, we'll see you then, and then we'll see you next See you in the morning. Monday morning. And uh, thank you for watching. Adios.